guys so this is my meal plan stuff <laughs> real quick i'm going to play the grocery haul like i went to aldi last night so real quick i'm going to go ahead and play that part all of this at aldi we got oat milk whole milk and yogurt squeezies eddie's already <laughs> eating one got some diet no nuggets for the kids and Declan's been really liking the meatless stuff, so we got him some chicken list tenders. So hopefully he likes these too. I got three bags of grapes and a thing of crinkle cut fries. Celery, green onion, spinach, and garlic, freshly peeled garlic, and then baby cut carrots. Have some popsicles, strawberries, some frozen strawberries, non-fat Greek yogurt cheese slices, potato puffs, chicken breast, and pork chops. I got these Simply Nature Apple Aid Burst Lemonade Applesauce. Addie has really been liking these. They were in the part that is no longer going to be available. So I went ahead and grab two boxes, some honey, cook one of these crunchy bars. I got peanut butter and then two boxes of oats and honey fruit snacks, peanut butter and jelly, chocolate chip cookies, nutter butters, Swiss rolls, double chocolate brownies, white rice, two bags of um, halved pecans, and pretzels, a bunch of bananas, onions, lemon, uh, little mandarins for the kids, sweet potatoes, apples, and two bags of potatoes. Just stuff I got was this um, sn <laughs> snack combo chip bag. It's for the kids. Some uh, different types of trash bags. This thing of paper towels and Cliff some deodorant. Just stopped by Target because we were right next to Target. I had to fax something at Office Depot and our Office Depot is right next to Target. And so ran into Target, got some pull-ups, diapers, and then I got this journal that was is going to be what I start writing down everything. And Mama, then I got these little pens. Mama, so it's really awesome. Mama, yes, baby. All right. So that was what I bought from Aldi last night. And then I think I showed like stuff that I bought at Target. So most of that stuff will be used in this week's meal plan. Also, a lot of it was for like the kids and stuff. So I am cooking mine and Cliff's whole week of dinners and then I'm making my uh, breakfast and lunch. Well, I'm prepping my breakfast because it's a smoothie. So, um, yeah. I don't know how this is going to go. Meal prepping is, or prepping it is hard, but I'm going to go ahead and cook. Yes, baby. You want to eat? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cook everything. Like, because I'm having chicken and pork, and then I'm having chicken salad for dinner. And then also there's rice and um, potatoes, and then, of course, the vegetables. So all of that, I'm going to go ahead and start cooking, and it's going to get kind of confusing for a minute, but it's okay. We got it. And I will, as I assemble, I will show you, like, the each meal. So, um, there's going to be, I'm making bread, I'm making, um, like I said, chicken pork, I'm making a chicken salad, some preparing smoothies, um, rice, potatoes, sweet potatoes, and then Cliff, instead of sweet potatoes, he's going to have mac and cheese. He's not doing like the diet part of mine, and she wants cookies. Okay. okay. So, this is my... Well, let's just go and I'm gonna try and do a voiceover over this so that way I can tell y'all because she's awake so I'm not gonna be able to continue talking sorry bye guys hey guys so this is me making bread I do have a recipe of me making bread on K and fam and I will try and link that down below um I want to do an updated version of it on this channel just because I have like really mastered it it was just like my first time making bread for that video so I will be doing that eventually but I will try and link it down for this one 
Also, I would like to state this is not my bread recipe. It is actually my friend Bambi's recipe. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I literally do like so many of her recipes. <laughs> All right. So here I am getting the crock pot or not crock pot. I'm sorry about that. The instant pot ready for, um, I think what I did for chicken salad. These two seasonings are just some of my favorite and they are so delicious. Now, I also decided that I was going to make pork chops this week and <laughs> they were actually pretty good, but I don't think I like pork that has like that you meal prep for multiple days. And plus I did these in the um, oven and they were just, they were good. Just, I don't think I could do it <laughs> again with pork or at least not the way I did it. And here I am just finishing off the bread. Here I am putting pork chops in the oven, and yes, I'm watching Minecraft. That is like my thing right now. It was Animal Crossing, and now I'm back on Minecraft just because personal things have happened. Here I am using um, or making rice. I do have a rice cooker, and I always forget about it because I've only used it a handful of times. And watching this back, I realized I did not wash my rice is probably why we ended up not really eating all of the rice throughout the week because yeah it's just kind of like a weird taste to it but I see that I did not wash my rice first so when I'm editing this video it's actually a week old so I can actually tell like what I liked and what I didn't like and I actually changed quite a bit of the menu for this week like the week that y'all will see after this one and i'm actually really liking what i chose to do this week um but yeah and i think last week like i was very like overwhelmed and like overstimulated i don't know why i don't know if it was just like the day i don't know if it was just like whatever it was like i felt like i just could not focus and i think it really affected how meal planning went like i think it took me a total of seven hours to complete the meals and this week it took me two like total like actually doing it not waiting for things to cook so yeah it's just crazy how much a clearer mind can help Now, I will say one of the favorite things that I had all week last week were these sweet potatoes that I'm about to, like, prepare. I did one as a, like, french fry, and I did one as just, like, a regular sweet potato, and they were both so good. I did not do sweet potatoes this week, though. But, yeah, the sweet potatoes were probably, like, one of my favorites that I did throughout the whole entire week. <laughs> So this part goes by so fast but I had to knead the bread and then you put you shape it and I put it in a loaf pan or bread pan to help it shape and then you just let it rise for another hour but it just went by so fast um so I soaked the potato the sweet potatoes in water and then this is where I'm going to cut them because I um, peeled them and so you put them in the little um you put them in like hot water and then you let it kind of um uh <laughs> kind of like let them like soak in hot water to help i don't really know what it does but it just makes it easier for the fries to cook
right so this is everything that you need for a um smoothie um to prep it and then you'll have to come back to the next video sorry about that but to see what all i add into it that doesn't get frozen so each each smoothie is going to have different fruit in it so i'm going to show y'all prepping and then i'll show you each one um and on the actual video i will show you how much because the all of this stays the same besides the fruit each fruit has a different um amount so let's get started So this part I was um, shredding the chicken for the chicken salad and I was trying to like figure out how to do two ounces without weighing it because I did not have a scale. I do now this week and I can already tell you like looking at it that is probably why I could not finish the chicken salad throughout the week because that is so much chicken right there. <laughs> Um, but I would like look at it, put it into it, and then I also put it into the oven because I wanted it like a little bit like crunchier, I guess. I don't know if that's weird, but yeah. And then like anything extra is what Cliff ate because I didn't portion out his. So, and then here I am putting potatoes into it, into the Instant Pot to cook them because it's so much easier that way. The bread turned out beautiful. Also, I'm cooking the sweet potato fries in the air fryer. I did it half, and then whenever it was time to eat them during the week, I cooked them the other halfway. Here I am prepping the dinner chicken as I was like talking about it like in my head or on Instagram, and it's pretty much what I was using to make dinner with. And what I ended up doing was picking like the three smallest-ish pieces and because technically my serving is two ounces and so I just picked three of the pieces because I was going to have three chicken meals throughout the week and that's what dinner was and I'll tell you what I could not finish it and yes my stove was a mess but I just kept going like it was it was hard guys and it was carrots for some of the days and yeah, I'm so, like, looking back, I'm so glad I went with a better um, meal plan this week. Alright, so before it even gets started, I totally messed up the measurements on this, um, this chicken salad. So, like, all of these were fine, like, the celery, all of that, that was great. The onion, it was a lot of onion, but, like, measurement-wise... I didn't mess up until I got to, I think it's the non-fat, or what was it, the Greek yogurt? Yes, Greek yogurt. So, the mayonnaise and sour cream on point. But, as, I don't know if you caught it, but on the recording, I did two, like, oh, that, that little purple cup is half a cup. I don't know why I thought it was my one-fourth cup for that split second. My one-fourth cup actually fell into the, in, at the bottom of the dishwasher and it was ruined, like, within the first week that we got it. Like, it melted. So, for some reason, I don't know why I, like, had that, but luckily I caught it after this one. This one was just so much food and... It was honestly very filling, so I just, I won't do it again. Or I will at least cut the recipe in half. My lunch for this week will be chicken salad, and I will go into more detail of like, um, what I eat with it, how I eat it, instead of just eating it out of the tub. But that was what we meal prepped today, and grapes <laughs> will be on the side. But yeah, just wanted to go ahead and get that update.
So for the mashed potato meal, it's, I'm gonna have pork and chicken, two separate days obviously, and then green beans with it. The next meal is technically the sweet potato meal. I cooked it two different ways. I baked a sweet potato and then I um, did fries and I have cooked them. So they'll just have to be air fried again whenever I do eat this meal. And it, this one is with the fries, it'll be chicken and the green beans. And with actual potatoes, it'll be green beans and the pork. Rice meal will be pork chop and chicken. That's also the same thing that the study and then carrots. So, yeah. Like I said, tomorrow I will show you like which days I eat. Well, I won't show you which days I eat each of these meals, but at least for the first day, you'll see what meal I chose to eat and I can eat, the, eat one of these any day I want, so. Yep. Smoothies, they are all different kinds. I used pretty much all of the frozen fruit I have. And it has two servings of peanut butter, two servings of the frozen fruit, and one serving of the spinach. And then there's more to them as well. Though that will just be shown in the next video. But um, everything is all prepped and ready. And there's all different kinds and took me all day and there's a lot left over that is all um Clifton's and the kids and whoever else may come over I don't know and yeah so now I'm about to box up the rest of the leftovers and go ahead and put those up and sit down this literally took me all day long and I even took like an hour break <laughs> so yeah but I'm officially done and there are snacks in between the meals and there's more to some of the meals um more to the breakfast and the lunch i think and then dinner is just heated up and go so yeah i am tired <laughs> but thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next video